There's so many ways to create a new beginning if you just think about it. Or think about the automatic ways of creating a new beginning. Here's a pretty good list. At the beginning of the day, this is a brand new day. I love to get up early now. I used to stay up so late. I got up late. I used to say if the good Lord wanted you to see the sunrise, he'd have made it later in the morning. But now I don't do that anymore. I try to get to bed as early as I can. Sometimes it's not easy, especially when you travel and with jet lag and all the rest, you know, around the world. But I try to get up now early in the morning. The unique thing about early in the morning, you haven't messed up the day yet. I mean, it's just, it's just there. It's ready, fresh. It's like being born again. A new day is like being born again. A chance for a new day, a new life. You've never lived this day before. Only in your mind developing plans, but you've never actually walked into this day before. Now you have a chance to watch the sun come up and then stride into this new day. Call yourself a new person, whatever that little trick you have to learn. This is a new day for me. This is a new life for me. Next, at the beginning of the week, You know, that seventh day, I think, has more than one purpose, the seventh day. So just make the note, how to best use the seventh day. It says what? Six days of labor, working miracles, turning thoughts and faith into reality. Then after six days of miracle working, turning ideas into reality, now it says, take the seventh day. And yes, the seventh day could be for spirituality. Yes, the seventh day is to contemplate God. Yes, the seventh day could be called for worship. Yes, the seventh day is to take some time off. Yes, the seventh day is to be with your family. Yes, the seventh day is change of pace. But here's a good idea for the seventh day. To go back over the last six and get ready for the next six. You just pause that seventh day. Because I have a... Another little piece on that in this list of five. And maybe now mid-year, mid-year, having come here for this weekend, mid-year, you can think of ways to gather up what's happened to you since the first of the year till now. The drama, the disappointments, the highs and the lows and the mixture and the stock market and whatever's happened to you, you know, these six months and say, I'm going to go home and create a new beginning. I'm not going to be the same again after this weekend. You can conclude that, and I promise you, the days can be so extraordinary, you won't be able to believe it. So absorb everything. Take it all in. Don't miss anything. The sound, the music, the sights, the atmosphere. My friend Bill Bailey has this extraordinary gift. He doesn't miss anything. Better for him to go to Acapulco, come back and tell you about it, than it is to go yourself. And the reason is, if he goes, he won't miss anything. He'll soak up every detail, every person he met, the food and the aromas and the sights and the sounds and the colors and the people and the countryside. Then he has the gift of language. When he comes back home, he can tell it to you. When he talks, you can feel the water lapping on your feet. You can smell the aroma of the food. You can see the colors and the people. Two gifts, to get it, second gift to share it and put it in dynamic words leaving out no detail because here's the key to remember the drama is in the detail lady tells me I've lost 60 pounds I said well is that it is that the end of the story she said oh no oh no there's a lot more to the story than that and I said well I appreciate the number but give me the what was going on in your life before? She says, well, misery you can't believe. I know I missed three good jobs just because I had too many pounds. And I says, how do you feel now? And she starts to cry. Wow, that's what I want to hear. The details, the drama's in the details. Give me the numbers, yes, but what does this number mean? For some people, the number means everything before and after. The number means so much drama you can't believe before and after. Before the day and after the day. Give me the detail. Absorb. Take it in. Don't miss anything. 